The ocean is deep. Divers can't get to the deepest sections of the ocean, but the human record for deep diving is 1,080 feet below the surface, which is terrifyingly deep. I don't think anybody can uh, dive in Bimini and not believe that these are man-made artifacts. Aside from the suffocating weight of the water, some divers discover some very bizarre things beneath the surface. Crushed by outside pressure, there could have been no survivors. In today's video of Top 10 World, we're talking about the 10 strangest things found by deep sea divers. Stay tuned because things are about to get strange. The sort of folks who believe that the Sphinx was built by Atlantis. Let's start with one of the strangest things. In 2014, a crew of experienced scuba divers allegedly discovered a huge underwater knife. The photograph has been extensively distributed throughout social network sites and scuba diving forums. Many people thought the serendipitous finding was proof that giants controlled the world maybe tens of thousands of years ago, or that it was more likely a prop that ended up in the water. But nobody knows for sure. Might it be proof of the existence of gigantic races? Let us know what you think in the comments below. If you find this discovery astonishing, then see what we have next in line for you. This long-lost Egyptian city was once a thriving metropolis that flooded, sunk, and was forgotten until researchers uncovered it. The ancient metropolis was originally found off the shore of Alexandria, Egypt in 2000, according to scientific journalist Laura Gegel, and has been the focus of frequent excavations ever since. Heraklion has been steeped in myth and considered to be a fable for ages. The city was crisscrossed with a network of canals comparable to ancient Egyptian Venice, and its islands were home to tiny shrines and dwellings. Today, the history of this once grand city is virtually unknown, and no one knows how it ended up completely submerged. You could find some outdated medicine in your medicine cabinet if you haven't cleaned it out in a while. They wouldn't, however, be as old as the medications discovered at the bottom of the sea. Archaeologists excavating an old shipwreck off the coast of Tuscany discovered a remarkable find. A securely sealed tin container containing well-preserved pills dating from 140 to 130 BC. An analysis of these ancient gray disks revealed a zinc-based composition that also included iron oxide, starch, beeswax, and pine resin, a mix of animal and vegetable fats, flax fiber, coal grains, and pollens. These tablets may have been used as an eye wash, according to ancient texts. The presence of genuine tangible evidence is extremely interesting, since researchers believe that these unusual old scrolls might truly give a rare look into Roman Empire pharmaceutical practices. Among other bizarre underwater discoveries in our list, we've got you an undersea river. Yes, you heard it right. But how can a river run beneath the sea? You might be perplexed. Scuba divers discovered Cenote Angelita, a hidden underwater river in Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. The river was produced by a thick coating of hydrogen sulfide formed at a location where fresh water and salt water became trapped in the cave owing to a sinkhole caused by limestone collapse. It'd kill you if you tried to breathe it in. Cenote Angelita, or Little Angel, appears to be normal from the surface, but dive down around 30 meters and you'll notice what appears to be a weird, wispy bottom with a few spooky bare limb tree trunks and branches poking out. Would you like to visit such a place? Swimsuits and snorkels aren't often considered acceptable clothing for viewing works of art, but they're exactly what you'll need to fully appreciate these sculptures, which are all located beneath the beautiful Caribbean Sea. The Granada Underwater Sculpture Park, designed by artist Jason DeCares Taylor in 2006, 400,000 BC Mosa, which is a big accomplishment is one of National Geographic's 25 world marvels. The goal of the project was to construct an artificial barrier where coral and other marine species might move and find a new home. Recently, 14 new sculptures were added to Grenada's underwater sculpture park to honor the approximately 2 million African slaves who were cast into the sea during the transatlantic slave trade. I thought it was a phenomenal idea, uh, very sustainable, very environmentally friendly, and a great tourism product. Let's move on to the next discovery. I'm sure you'll be amazed to hear this. In October 2012, a guy walking along Pompano Beach in South Florida saw something unusual, a humongous disembodied eyeball that caused quite a stir on the internet. It turned out to be an eyeball from a medium-sized swordfish. The eyeball was most likely removed by a fisherman who threw it into the ocean and it washed up on shore. It's not some kind of sea monster or anything. Despite the fact that the official explanation put an end to much discussion about the mystery eyeball, it's still a strange finding. After all, it's not every day that a massive lone eyeball washes up on the beach. 
In any case, the incident was named National Geographic's Strangest Narrative of 2012. If you're so astonished to know this, then we have another discovery for you that'll blow your mind. A vampire squid! Yes, it's real. But don't worry, it's not really a vampire. Or even a squid. The name of this unusual deep water monster comes from its blood red coloring, cloak like webbing, and toothy looking spines, not because it sucks blood. When provoked, the vampire squid inverts its cape and squirts a thick cloud of sticky, bioluminescent mucus towards potential predators. You. Surprisingly, the Hellfire Vampire Squid refuses to kill. This strange creature feeds on plankton and the decaying remnants of dead fish. Let us know what you think about this spooky creature in the comments below. The Vampire Squid is an ancient animal that shares characteristics with both squids and octopods. Next in the row, we have a frilled shark, a fascinating yet terrifying creature that lives in the dark depths of the ocean. Their bodies are thin and may coil in a serpentine pattern. Frilled sharks seek prey that's half their body length or larger. So once you're in their mouth, there's no getting out. In 2015, a fisherman in Australia who'd captured one of these strange monsters told local radio that it looked like a giant eel with a head that looked like something out of a horror movie. It was a catch that he never wants to make again. Here's another underwater discovery that'll make scary movie fans extra terrified. In northern Minnesota, someone created a life-size statue of Jason Voorhees, one of Hollywood's most infamous killers, complete with his iconic hockey mask and machete, and dumped it into the bottom of Crystal Lake. It's been sitting there ever since, waiting to give unsuspecting divers a heart attack. A video of it was uploaded on YouTube, and since then it's been giving goosebumps to internet users. Let us know in the comments how you would have reacted upon stumbling upon it. Next in line, we have this gigantic oarfish. The morphological attributes of the gigantic oarfish are unquestionably what makes it the strangest deep water dweller. Oarfish have bright silver skin and a large red dorsal fin that rises as a primary light crest on the top of their head, making them as long as a school bus. It's considered a bad omen in Japan since the oarfish is regarded to be a forerunner of earthquakes and tsunamis. What do you guys think of it? You thought this thing was pretty old, possibly even a hundred years or so. All right, guys, that's it for today's exploration of deep oceans. If you enjoyed the video, then hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. We'll be back soon with another amazing video. What exactly that object might be.